Brave and lovely. Thomas abuses hope, strikes far below the belt. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. This week on CBS, there are two startling scenes in which Thomas Forrester acts cruelly toward Hope Logan on Bold and the Beautiful. Not many B&B &B viewers found Thomas' new attitude to be very becoming when he comes home. Hope Logan is pained by Thomas Forrester in Bold and the Beautiful. When Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, are by themselves, Thomas takes a terrible action. Rather than giving her the straight talk, he allowed her to open up to him about maybe giving it another shot. Even still, Hope took a completely different meaning from Thomas's embrace, so he moved in for it. Hope's hug of Thomas Forrester seemed to bring her comfort, love, and relief to a lot of bold and the beautiful watchers. Before revealing the shocking information, he offered her a false sense of security. However, viewers' comments on bold and the beautiful seem to indicate that Thomas lost favor with the fans right away. This is regrettable because they have been trying to atone for his previous actions for many months. B and B spoilers. A cruel and intense hit at Hope. It was already awful enough that when Hope expressed to Thomas how much she missed him, he replied that he too did. She then felt secure enough to advance and give him a hug. For fans of Bold and Beautiful, however, the scene can only get worse when Paris Buckingham, Diamond White, makes an appearance. For many years, Hope Logan has been the legal mother of Henry Joseph Samiri's Douglas Forrester. He may be on the other side of the globe, but he is still her son. Thus, Hope Logan and the fans of Bold and the Beautiful were hit hard below the belt when he turned to face Paris and called her mom. Spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful Does Thomas actually push the Logan daughter? When Thomas Forrester took those horrifying pictures of Hope Logan, people's jaws fell in front of TV sets around the country. Douglas, who used to never intentionally harm his mother, yet spoke to Paris as his mom, as though he had been doing so all along. Douglas was disappointed and perhaps a bit upset when she rejected his father's suggestions. Thus, was naming Paris's mother a kind of revenge on his part. He shields his father from harm. But Hope Logan might be wiped out by what Thomas Forrester just said to her. Last week, she was unable to control her thoughts. However, this might cause her to struggle with self-control this week. B and B spoilers. Does Hope become uncontrollably impulsive? Spectators of Bold and the Beautiful are eager to watch how Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messinswood, will respond to her brother Thomas Forrester's approaching marriage. She had, after all, driven him from the town to keep him away from Hope. Thus, a major disaster will result if Hope follows her intuition and pursues Finn, John Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. Some bold and the beautiful viewers believe Steffi deserves this if she pursues Finn while her pain motivates her. Not all fans, though, are depressed for Hope. Some viewers of B&B &B believe that Hope Logan is deserving of what she got by turning down Thomas' proposal twice. However, the rumors circulating online today portray horrified followers about what B&B &B planned for Thomas to do when he returns to the city. They consider Thomas Forrester to be harsh for hurling these vicious insults at Hope Logan. Her only wish was to delay getting married for longer. She informed him once more this week on CBS that she never wanted him to leave her. The halls of Forrester creations buzzed with the usual energy, models and designers rushing to meet deadlines, the hum of sewing machines filling the air. But in one corner office, a dark storm was brewing. Thomas Forrester, the brilliant yet troubled designer, paced back and forth, his mind a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. Thomas had been on edge ever since the fallout from his recent breakup with Hope Logan. Despite all the progress he had made, his attempts to reform, his therapy sessions, and the trust he had painstakingly rebuilt, everything had come crashing down. Hope had ended their partnership, 
both professionally and personally, leaving Thomas feeling abandoned and betrayed. His obsession with hope had been his undoing before, but this time it was different. This time, he had genuinely tried to change, to be the man she could count on. But hope, ever the beacon of morality, couldn't let go of her past doubts. Her decision had stung more deeply than any rejection he had ever faced. As he paced, memories of their last conversation replayed in his mind like a broken record. The words they exchanged were harsh, each one a dagger to his heart. But it was the finality in her voice, the she resolute up her mind, and, and nothing he said or did would change that. Thomas, we can't keep doing this, Hope had said, her eyes brimming with unsh tears. It's not healthy, for you, for me, for anyone. I can't keep pretending that everything's okay when it's not. But we were good together, Hope, Thomas had pleaded, desperation lacing his voice. I love you, and I know you love me too. We can make this work. Hope shook her head, her expression one of sad resolve. I care about you, Thomas, but it's not enough. We need to move on, for the sake of our children, our families. This isn't fair to anyone. And with that, she had walked out of his office, leaving him standing there, his heart shattered into a million pieces. Days turned into weeks, and the bitterness that had taken root in Thomas's heart began to fester. He threw himself into his work, designing with a fervor that both impressed and worried his colleagues. The dark, brooding designs he produced were a stark contrast to the light, airy creations he had once been known for. It was during one of these late-night design sessions that Thomas's thoughts took a darker turn. He had tried to be good, to be the man Hope deserved, but it had all been for nothing. She had rejected him, cast him aside like he meant nothing. The resentment he felt grew stronger each day, fueled by his sense of betrayal and loss. One evening, as Thomas sat alone in his dimly lit office, sketching furiously, his phone buzzed with a notification. It was a text from his sister, Steffi. Steffi, Hope's been spending a lot of time with Liam lately. Be careful, Thomas. I don't want you to get hurt again. Thomas's grip tightened on his pencil, the words on the screen blurring as a wave of anger washed over him. Of course, Liam was always there, lurking in the background, ready to swoop in and take what was his. He had always been the thorn in Thomas's side, the one who had everything Thomas wanted, Hope's love, a family, a place in her life. His mind raced, the anger boiling over as he imagined Hope and Liam together, laughing, sharing moments that should have been his. The image of them together, so happy and content, was more than he could bear. In that moment, something inside Thomas snapped. He could feel the darkness creeping in, the old familiar urge to control, to manipulate. It was like an old friend, one he had tried to leave behind, but who was always there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to strike. Thomas knew he needed a plan, something that would remind Hope of what she was throwing away. He was tired of being the good guy, the one who always got hurt. If Hope couldn't see the value in what they had, then he would make her see it, even if it meant playing dirty. He spent the next few days carefully crafting his plan. It was subtle, insidious, the kind of manipulation that wouldn't be immediately obvious. He started by planting seeds of doubt in Hope's mind, little comments and observations that would make her question everything she thought she knew. Are you sure Liam's being completely honest with you, Hope? Thomas asked one afternoon as they discussed a new design. He seems a bit distant lately. Hope frowned, glancing at Thomas with a hint of confusion. What do you mean? Thomas shrugged, fading indifference. I just noticed he hasn't been around as much. I know he has a lot on his plate, but it seems like he's avoiding something. Hope shook her head, dismissing his concerns. Liam's been busy with work, that's all. There's nothing to worry about. But Thomas could see the flicker of doubt in her eyes, the way she hesitated before brushing off his comment. It was a small victory, but a victory nonetheless. Over the next few weeks, Thomas continued to subtly undermine Hope's confidence. 
he made sure to be there for her, offering support and understanding, while also subtly pointing out Liam's perceived shortcomings. He played the role of the concerned friend perfectly, all the while knowing he was setting Hope up for a fall. It all came to a head one evening when Hope, feeling overwhelmed by the doubts Thomas had been sowing, decided to confront Liam. They had been spending less time together, and she couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Thomas's words kept echoing in her mind, feeding her insecurities. Liam, we need to talk, Hope said, her voice trembling as she approached him in their living room. Liam looked up from his laptop, concern etching his features. What's wrong, Hope? Hope took a deep breath, trying to steady her nerves. Have you been avoiding me? It feels like we're drifting apart, and I don't know why. Liam's brow furrowed in confusion. Avoiding you? Hope, that's not true. I've just been busy with work. But it feels like more than that. Hope pressed, her emotions spilling over. Are you hiding something from me?